40 years, barbers at the Village Barbershop in Middlesbrough have cut hair. This week, workers are celebra celebrating being in business for decades. WIMT's Ashley Reynolds went to the shop to see if anything has changed in all these years. Step inside the Village Barbershop in Middlesbrough. What's that? And you will find not much has changed in the last 40 years. It's just a special place to me. A special place where the coffee is hot and conversations never end. And you can sit down and just talk about what's going on and then you get a haircut and come back when, it's, when your ears are too high and get them lowered down again. For the last 40 years, Edward Hunter has gotten his ears lowered here. I'm just I'm acquainted with the people and it seems like more like home when I'm here. That's exactly how Johnny Green wanted the place when he opened the barbershop 40 years ago. Green died this spring. His brother, Charles Green, says he was not too keen on the idea of opening the shop soon after he served. Had he was going to go to barber school in Louisville, he was going to be a barber. And I said to him, I said, boy, I said, you completely lost your mind, ain't you? <laughs> Decades later, Charles admits the idea was not too bad after all. No, it wasn't crazy. <laughs> I thought it was to start with, but I changed my mind. One thing that has not changed in 40 years is that women can still come inside, but we cannot get our hair cut here. And the whole family can come in. We like to see families grow up in the barbershop, but if we're going to cut any hair, it's not going to be a woman's hair. While on the outside, decades have passed, on the inside, time stands still, where there will always be familiar faces and ears that need to be lowered. In Bell County, Ashley Reynolds, WYMT Mountain News. And on Saturday,